up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows. I'm live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You can also catch me live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's get into our video. And today, we're bringing y'all another fight prediction, man. We got to do um, the co-main event, I believe, for the Chocolatito and Estrada Trilogy card. Um, and this one, we got Julio Cesar Martinez versus Samuel Carmona. Julio Cesar Martinez will be putting his his um, WBC flyweight title on the line. They're fighting at 112 pounds for the WBC flyweight championship of the world. Uh, Julio Cesar Martinez is minus 1,200 odds. Carmona's at plus 1,300. Um, let's see here. Martinez is 27 years old, Mexican fighter, out of um, orthodox stance, five foot two with a 64 inch reach. Then you got Samuel Carmona versus uh, um, out of Spain, orthodox fighter, um, five foot four, 26 years old, um, and he will kind of switch stances and, and kind of you know fight as a hybrid fighter, so to speak. Um, Carmona's a good boxer, good technique, um, offensively, um, average power in my opinion. Um, he's far too easy to hit. And I worry about his gas tank and his dog. I think it's a bad stylistic matchup for him, but he is talented. This is a former Olympian that we're talking about. Went to the 2016 um, Rio Rio um, Olympics in Brazil. Um, represented his country, Spain, there. And he's stepping up with only eight fights to fight, um, you know, a buzzsaw in Julio Cesar Martinez. The issue for Carmona is he's not elusive enough. He While he's better and more textbook, then Julio Cesar Martinez, he's easy to hit. And I saw him have trouble against a similar style in Cordova um, that really, in my opinion, probably should have got the nod. Because Cordova, in the seventh and eighth round, he was hitting Carmona with shots, and the ref kept calling it a slip when I thought a couple of those were knockdowns. Then he did indeed knock Car Carmona down late in the fight, and Carmona spent the rest of the fight holding. But he really came to the pressure. Um, Cordova was able to hit him with good shots, and Cordova is a, is a fighter with not much power. We're talking about maybe three or four knockouts in like 15 to 16 fights, but that intense, rugged, rough Mexican style really got to Carmona in that fight. But he is more talented as a boxer than Julio Cesar Martinez. Like, if you watch them train, or if you watch them fight, you watch their highlights, you'll think Carmona is a better boxer. The stance is better. He's more textbook. Doesn't get squared up like Julio Cesar Martinez. But he's just not elusive enough. Um, and, and for Julio Cesar Martinez, his style is very unorthodox. He comes in square. Um, his defense is absolutely, positively just not good at all. But what he does well, he's explosive. He slip shots looking for explosive counters well. And down at 112 pounds, he's separating dudes from their consciousness, bro. He's separating them from their consciousness. So... You got to ask yourself, because um, when you look at the eyes, you're like, damn, Carmona, undefeated, former Olympian, good boxer, going against Julio Cesar Martinez with them flaws and shit. You know, should the odds be closer? Should I pick an upset on this one? I think it's a trap, bro. I don't think I don't think Carmona got what it takes. You got you to gotta understand if Cordova can press him and get to him and he succumb to the pressure and look tired in a 10-round fight, and he ain't never went 12 rounds. But I only think it's a matter of time before Julio Cesar Martinez catch him with one of them explosive shots and really hurt him and hurt him bad. And so I got Julio Cesar Martinez for the stoppage in this fight, man. I got him for the stoppage in this fight. And he and he very dangerous late in the fight, early in the fight, because he come out guns blazing from start to finish. And even though Chocolatito whooped on his ass, he showed a lot of heart in that fight. He ain't quit. He kept trying to come, kept trying to land his shots. Chocolatito shit. He just Chocolatito, bro. But I don't think, I think it's a bad matchup for Carmona. I think they moved him too quickly into this fight, bro. I really do. So I got Julio Cesar Martinez. 
I'm picking the stoppage. I think he catch Carmona early, bro. Just looking at how they fight, looking at how Carmona, when he bagging out, he's straight up. So them, them wild hooks that Julio Cesar Martinez throw, Carmona's not athletic to keep pivoting and turning and use lateral movement. So Julio Cesar Martinez, I don't think he's going to have a hard time finding him. Um, the crazy thing is Carmona got the talent to, like, put it all together, put on a lifetime performance, and pull off the upset. The talent is there. I just don't think it's going to all come together, bro. I think he is going to get caught early in the fight. I'm picking a stoppage in round four. Now, I got a stoppage in this fight by round four, somewhere somewhere in there, four, five, six. But I'm going to pick four because I think Martinez will hurt him in the first three rounds. And then I think Carmona will be trying to survive, and I think he gets stopped in round four. I wouldn't be surprised if it's earlier, though, y'all. I'm telling y'all, the way that Carmona – has to try to throw punches with his feet planted and that textbook shit. Julio Cesar Martinez is good at slipping shots. Chocolatito messed him up because Chocolatito is got angles and 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 he throw fluid combinations while being defensively responsible and he he a savage in the pocket and shit. That ain't Carmona. Carmona when he get in the pocket is high guard to high guard trying to throw your basic hook to the body or trying to throw a basic jab one two and. Martinez is going to pick up on that shit, and he gonna do some bad to that boy. And Martinez been 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 really in shape since he since that loss to um Chocolatito. He done been hungry, you know. He's very disappointed that McWilliams and Royo fight didn't happen. They were supposed to run that shit back, but he's been very very hungry. Um, he looking great shape, and he look like he ready to come make a statement. I think he gonna do just that with an early stoppage and an early night's work against Carmona. But y'all let me know who y'all picking, man. I got Julio Cesar Martinez by stoppage. And you know what's around the corner, too. They try and set up him and Bam Rodriguez, bro. They try and set that up. And so, you know, we need to see that. We need to see that for sure. Like, like real talk. So he knows what's around the corner, the big fights, the big money fights, the um possible unification with Jesse Bam Rodriguez. And he looking to make a statement and let Bam know he coming. So I'm looking forward to it, man. So I got Julio Cesar Martinez stopping Samuel Car Carmona. Carmona? Because I just think it's a horrible stylistic matchup, and I think they're moving the Olympian up to this level way too early. A talented fighter does some things well in the ring. He's going to look more textbook. He may even come out and have a lot of success early. And you may be thinking, like, what is Knockout talking about? But just wait. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Julio Cesar Martinez is going to catch him with some hot shit, put him down, hurt him, change the fight. Fight going to be over by round three, round four. But y'all let me know who y'all picking. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. Um, we live every Wednesday and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.